Tonight, on A Current Affair, we meet the Halberts, a young family being torn apart by the negative impact of violent video games. He was always a good boy. You just never think that anything like this could ever happen. Fred Halpert was an active, happy boy who loved sports and the outdoors. However, all this changed about two years ago when he first became addicted to video games. At the time, we had no idea that anything was wrong. He stayed indoors more often, became paler. Honestly, we didn't think much of it. Earlier this year, Fred was suspended from school after abusing a boy in his class over the game they were involved with. Well, we used to be like really good friends, you know? And then he started getting really into it. Like, he got really aggressive and I noticed that he was losing friends and he stopped coming to the skate park. I was like, man, chill. And then this happened. According to the University of Washington, roughly 68% of households play video games, and of this, 25% are under the age of 18. The Harvard Medical School Center also found some shocking results. 51% of boys playing violent video games had been in a physical fight, compared to 28 who were not playing those games. Furthermore, like Fred, 22% of boys playing violent games were suspended from school, a whopping 7% more than boys who did not play violent video games. Earlier today, we tried to get a statement from Fred on his actions. Fred! Fred, do you regret what you did, Fred? Are you addicted to video games, Fred? It's off. Fred, why don't you go outside, Fred? Fred is currently getting help at a juvenile rehab facility, so it's no longer game over for this young teen. For more information, please visit our website. Good night.